happen. So I've, you know, I'm, I'm not like Chris Nolan in many fucking ways, any critic will tell you, but one of those ways is like, Chris is always like, we need as much money as possible to do this practically and do it right because cinema is forever and shit. And I'm the guy come from indie film who's just like, that's good enough. That's, that'll get the job done. Good enough is the only way I've gotten this far in my career. If I was striving for perfection, you never even want to see in Clerks, for Christ's sake. Look at Clerks. It's absolutely imperfect. But my whole career was predicated on an absolutely imperfect, sloppy first effort. So what did that teach me? For the next 10 years of my career, I was like, doesn't have to be better than Clerks. Like, if they'll sit through Clerks, they'll watch this. And because wow. of that, I never really push myself or have pushed myself. Every once in a while, there's like Tusk or some such shit. But like, visually speaking, I kept shit real fucking simple. It was only after directing as many years as I have where you're just like, well, maybe I can, maybe I can grow. Maybe I could try this. I've been around long enough. Like, and I'm, I, this is not, I don't want this to, just to be misread as like, I'm bored. I fucking love what I do for a living. But at a certain point, it's like, you know, after the first five movies, every movie's a joy to make, don't get me wrong. But after the first five movies, it's like, I, I know what the experience of movie making is. That's why when podcasting happened, like I've been podcasting for 13 years now. We started in 2007 because that was an art form that was like, what? Like, I don't need millions of dollars. I can just, I can fucking invite my friends over and sit in my office and smoke weed and chit chat. That's the art form for me. So like that, you know, even though at a point where I was like, ah, you know, movies, like there was a point where I retired. I literally retired after like Red State. I was like, I'm done. Like, this is it. This is the last movie I made. I'm good. Bye bye. Everybody. And you really believed that you were done. You were like, I'm fuck this. I did not even in a fuck this kind of way, but I'm just like, you know, I got nothing left to say. That was my point. I was like, you know, let a young person say some shit. I don't really have that much. You've seen every trick I can do. Red State felt like a high water mark where I'm like, this don't look like nothing I've ever done before. If I took my name off that movie, not a single motherfucker in the world, including my own mother, would know that I made that movie. So at that point, I felt like, you know what? This is my film school. This is my masterpiece. And I don't mean masterpiece like this is brilliant, like a Nolan movie. I mean, like, you know, I was an apprentice for a fucking decade or more. And finally, I was like, I'm going to present my masterpiece to see if I can go up the next level. That's how it worked. You had the apprentice working under a master artist. And then one day, the apprentice would be like, I made my piece, my masterpiece. And this is for you to judge and tell me whether I can ascend or not. 